Welcome to this PalmSense unboxing video and today we're going to look what's inside the box of a Sense It Smart. So this is not like uh, our big plastic cases, uh, this is really like a box, like a carton box. So we remove the sleeve and we, we open the box and in there we find the Sense It Smart. Now as you see the Sense It Smart has only the uh, screen print electrode connector and a USB-C connector and that's it. Uh, on the back you find uh, uh, you find uh, the serial number. Okay. Um, then all the rest of the accessories that come with a Sensit Smart are inside this part of the box. You can just slide everything out. You have for example the uh, quick installation guide. You can use that if you're not a fan of videos and prefer rather reading this. If you're really into reading you can also read your um, the, the list of content basically of, of the package what should be in there and your warranty terms and conditions. Also you find in there um, an activation code you can use that for um, downloading um, the software PS Trace, for example, on our website. Uh, but today we're going to do our measure, our first measurement with PS Touch, which is our Android app that you can download for free on the Google Play Store. Well, what else you will find in here? You uh, find in here a USB cable that is very handy if you're using a computer or laptop that only has uh, the big USB connections. You have on the other side a female USB-C and can just connect the Sensit Smart and then you have a flexible connection for a big USB. Um, Furthermore, in here is an adapter for micro USB. There's still a lot of um, phones and tablets around there that have a micro USB. So don't worry, you can also use the Sensit Smart with that. And a port protector that is just a device that has a male USB-C on one side and a female USB-C on the other side, uh, just to reduce the amount of uh, times that you plug and unplug your device. Then we have here uh, the dummy cell that we're going to use today and um, if you uh, turn the dummy cell around you can also see what's actually in there and it's a Randall circuit. Okay. Then we have in this box, in this, uh, this little bag, we have an uh, adapter that converts the uh, SPE connector into a, um, a screw terminal. So you can just uh, insert cables here and screw them tight with these screws. But today we're going to uh, use our uh, dummy cell to do a measurement. For that we just um, push the dummy cell into the front end for connecting it. And then we take uh, our Android device and start PS Touch. Uh, when it's the first time that you open PS Touch, you will get some uh, tips and uh, advice that we would like to give you. You can just close that and then start with your measurement. Okay, so I connect the Sensit Smart to the uh, to the Android device and you see it illuminates. That means that it is uh, powered and uh, working as expected. Now it will, um, now the telephone will ask you for permission um, to use the device. You just press OK and then you see that it's connected by the little message that pops up. Okay, uh, now we want to do our first measurement and to do that we just load already a measurement that was done previously and use the measurement parameters for that. For that you tip on load data, then on demo files and on, um, on EIS examples and Sensit Dummy EIS. So now you see that the measurement was loaded. Um, for a few of you it might be like, um, oh this is a border plot, that's no, usually not what I'm using. Well you can already switch that here to the 
Nyquist plot and that's maybe something you're more used to and if you press the equal axis scaling then you see the semicircle that you're used to. Well, but that is now a loaded measurement. Well, the advantage is that um, when you load a measurement also all of the method parameters um, are loaded together with that measurement. So we have actually all the parameter already set and can just press the run button. And we want to overlay the measurement to see if it works exactly the same. And so to get the best view, I see the measurement running. And this is a zoom in. You see on the bottom how long uh, we expect the measurement to run. And as usual for an impedance measurement, the first frequencies were done very quickly. And now we wait for the remaining frequencies. Yes, so we recorded our final measurement. And um, now we can see that these two curves overlap. You can also, if you want, just swipe out the legend to and press the little I button on the blue one so you only see the new measurement that you just made. And this way you have easily made your first measurement with the Sensit Smart. So thank you for watching. If you don't want to miss any of our other videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And have a great day!